Hey, it's been a while since I've sat down and had a reflection. It seems so fast the current pace of life as a as a student as well as trying to juggle different projects but I really need to prioritize making reflections because it's a way for me to better articulate myself and to better grasp get a better grasp of the the world that operates around me and going back to I guess physical classes it definitely opened up how little I know about the world and to see so many different lives that people live out it's uh, really inspiring and fascinating so I'm grateful for the experience and also another reason why I need to create is for the authenticity it as I evolve as a human I want to bring the community along with the journey and I know that's uncomfortable for me because there's a a certain way people perceive me but I really value growth in different dimensions as well as just special specialization there's going to be a lot of people who branch off to different fields and interest but as long as I'm I could be a part of their journey for a small time that would make me really happy and yeah so the first thing I wanted to talk about is the cost we pay for the fear of being alone I had a conversation recently with my mom telling me I have like internet friends and I need to branch out more to the real world and I think for most of our lives we're accustomed to think we need to make friends we need to have good relationships with our colleagues for better opportunities and during times of need they're going to be there and I think that's important it's a good strategy to have people around and the benefits of relationships it's it's priceless but I also want to make you aware of the cost that you pay for let's say forcing yourself to you know create uh, maintain relationships that maybe is not really as important as you might think for example when I came to America in middle school at around 13 I was really insecure I was coming into a foreign environment and all I cared about was trying to fit in and trying to be welcomed I really desired attention and so I would go out of my ways to um, try to be funny I would watch a lot of American TV shows to catch up on some of the lingo and try to exercise them during classroom which uh, <laughs> at times uh, sometimes embarrassing but at the time I thought I was I was amazing so that's all to say I was scrolling on social media consistently consuming on what people were doing and I would say I was uh, I got along pretty well I adapted quickly to the environment but I was essentially just putting up a, a facade it wasn't really authentic to who I was I was just creating an image because I had to cope with the insecurity of the fear of being alone The irony here is that most of the time when I was going back home, I was all alone. Uh, but I just felt attached when scrolling through social media and feeling as if I was part of something. 
So, just want to say that it's okay that you're different, that your path is not going to be understood by others. When you're embarking upon certain tasks that requires arduous and difficult amount of discipline, you're going to be misunderstood, mischaracterized, labeled, and a lot of people, especially if you have a lot of close networks that are close-minded, they're, they might not like that. People don't really like change at times. It's more comfortable that you are a certain way and could be a limiting factor without you even recognizing it. And so for me, I'd like to think that it's okay to be different because it's what I decide. And there's some beauty in being alone. It allows you the freedom to maneuver around different spaces, different specializations where you could grow. And even if it's not for you, still, it's part of the human experience. So that's the first thing I wanted to state. And another thing is by going to university uh, physically, I definitely see how little I knew about people in general. There's so many different tastes, different backgrounds, and how people perceive the world is completely different from mine. And I think a big part of that comes from, of course, like community, family, uh, relations, and what environment that you surround yourself in. And I really value the community that I'm fortunate enough to have created of finding so such hardworking people that continuously remind me of what really matters within this world no matter who where you are in your life as long as you're willing to to learn and change what you can accomplish within a short amount of time it's just incredible seeing people kind of transform their lives along with me um, I find great joy in that and at times I feel a little lost, kind of aimlessly going to school, trying to balance everything. At times uh, I feel like I'm not reflecting enough, being more in the present and really being pushed by deadlines and all of the externalities that, mm, that take time away from uh, being conscious in each moment. But I think in hindsight, I'll also be able to appreciate this as well. It's a way for me to, to grow. I think that's what's required. And yeah, I have a final tomorrow. And the past couple of months and weeks filled with exams different extracurriculars and such on and so forth. It's draining and competitive, whatever emotions that I feel at that moment, I'm always looking at it in hindsight, I'm able to think, wow, that was nice or amazing. Maybe it's a, a way of like a flow state. One thing for sure is humans are really good at distracting ourselves, even in the the fact of uh, meeting our mortality, of filling up things to do, work that has to be done, and to continuously create and pursue something. Mm -hmm. And 
I also want to say thank you to the people that have stuck by. I know right now my schedule is really inconsistent as sometimes I, after classes I go to office hours or sometimes I use the gym or sometimes I eat in school. So my times are quite uh, inflexible with the demands of the, the people. But I appreciate the, the few people that are open enough to give me the space. And I thank the moderators for always being there, always doing their best to kind of hold the ties, uh, keeping, <laughs> keeping the chat uh, aligned. Mm, yeah. I think that's all I wanted to, to share. Remembering gratitude. That's something I need to continuously do throughout the journey. Because there's always going to be this silver, shiny, uh, shiny, what is it called? The shiny silver object syndrome. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Where I'm continuously pursuing something ever since I decided kind of like the change of where I was before. I just uh, addicted, not really knowing you know, how deep in that rabbit hole I was, feeling helpless and changing. There is no end to development and, and growth. There is no happy ending. And that's something I need to train within my mind of continuously feeling the craving recording stuff but I was stating how the endless of desires that's never fully satiated satiated I that can be healed with gratitude of being thankful for what I already have and only for what I could imagine back in my past of how fortunate I am with having good health at the current moment the that the fact that I have my mom's emotional support along the journey along with my brother the fact that I have a shelter that I have clothes to wear that I have food and those are things only my predecessors could only uh, had to fight for and sometimes not even get and so I always have to practice gratitude and I hope you guys do too as well because it brings a lot of great insight and allows you to kind of relieve yourself from the current suffering that you're feeling. Yeah. I have some really cool projects that I want to share with you guys. Um, reading upon rereading upon some productivity books and planning on talking about career development as well especially for young people and people who are currently within their careers to give them a more open sense of what is also available and how you could make impact and kind of designing and architecture in your life you want to live I have a really bad problem with using technology, especially during nighttime, and making sure I'm always moving forward when I set a certain goal. Oftentimes I'm more, I enjoy the, the feeling of feeling productive through planning rather than actually doing the work at times. So by learning, rereading the basics, the fundamentals, making sure I design systems so I'm getting closer and closer. I'm creating some sort of tool and hopefully I could share that with you as well. So yeah, 
those are all the updates and hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll catch you soon all right yeah and one last note i think i have within my mind it's like sometimes i just forget who i am and at times i just need to remember and you guys also need to remember what you guys have gone through and not get lost in the sauce of how people perceive you how you want to be perceived at that moment always recognize your roots that's not to say like have so much pride but it's more so of being conscious of all the challenges that you've gone through i think that's a good way of putting it that's all all right take care now peace